in a world that has become obsessed with being busy. The idea of creating space can feel scary and uncomfortable. And this is why I need to talk about this today. (laughs) I get the busy cycle. I am someone who prides myself on being busy, having so much to do. I mean, I was that, that young woman in her early 20s working two jobs and building a business. I've always had this notion of busyness equating to success. You know, that old saying like hard work leads to, leads to success. So many of us have been raised on that value, that hard work equates to success, that it has to feel hard in order for us to be successful. But what we're learning in today's day and age is that the paradigm is shifting, right? You don't necessarily have to work hard to be successful. You just have to work smart. You have to be intentional with what it is that you're doing. You have to understand why you're doing what you're doing. You know, as Simon Sinek always says, the power of why. I mean, why is a powerful force? It's the thing that is driving you. So what is actually driving you forward? Now, for me, it's it's been an incredible journey. You know, I've been coaching. It's 2018. I've been coaching for four years now. And for the first like three and a half years of my coaching business, I was busy, you know, filling space with everything and anything, saying yes to all opportunities. And really just for the sake of feeling busy, keeping myself busy, doing all the things, feeling a need to do all the things, right? Because everyone else is doing all the things. But is that what really earned me the success that I have today. And I reflect back on this with you because I think it's really important for you to understand. Do I equate my success to to this habit of being busy? Definitely not. Definitely not. My success is due to my ability to really connect with people. All my clients have come through connections. All of my clients have come through me being able to connect with them via social media or through referrals, et cetera. I mean, all my podcast interviews, everything. It's all been connections. It's all been relationships. The only thing that the busyness can account for is fatigue. And I know that some of you listening get this, right? You reach this point where you feel like you've hit a wall and then you get up and you hit a wall again. You get up and you hit a wall again and you're just like, what the fuck is going on? And the fatigue sets in and you feel exhausted and you feel depleted and you can no longer give your business, your mission, your purpose, what it deserves because you're so fucking depleted. You can't give your clients what they deserve. You can't give your projects what it deserves. You you just don't have the energy to disperse. And it's because of this habit that we've cultivated as a society to stay busy because busyness equates to success. But there's another thing that I want to offer you that has helped me and has helped many of my clients. And it's the idea that space offers grace. Now, don't get me wrong. The idea of space scares the shit out of me. I'm a double Virgo. Um, For those of you who don't know what that means, I'm especially neurotic and a very special type of perfectionist, (laughs) meaning that I love to perfect everything I do. So quite often that equates to me being really busy and getting shit done and and cramming things in and, and just doing things all the time. So the idea of having space actually drives me nuts because I sit there and I'm like twiddling my thumbs and wondering, well, I could be doing so many other things. I mean, I'm the girl who goes to her hair appointments and sits in the chair watching the time saying to herself, why the fuck is this taking so long? I have so much shit to do. I could be doing this. I could be doing that. 
every single time. Even when I get a pedicure, I'll be sitting in the chair and I'll be like, oh, let me see what kind of work I can do on my phone. Right? And I know some of you feel me on this. We, we fill space. We fill space because we've cultivated this habit as a society to be busy all the fucking time because busy equates to success. But what we are learning now more than ever is that busyness doesn't really equate to success, but it definitely equates to exhaustion, to depletion, to adrenal fatigue, to all the things that are going to stunt our growth as leaders, as entrepreneurs, as content creators, right? This is the shit that holds us back. So why do we keep doing it? Why do we keep filling the space, perpetuating this problem, this cycle? So it wasn't until like this year when I really started to give myself the grace of space and space started giving me grace. My husband and I recently moved into a new home and it's like double the square footage. And it's been amazing to be in this new space because first of all, we have space. We're not walking on top of each other in our own home. But second, it feels like I can breathe, like I can expand, not just myself personally, but my business. And it's been amazing. I've also felt with this new home, this, this, uh, you know, this need to fill, fill my space and fill my books with clients, like that's dropped. And it's dropped because I was really busy last year. And that's the year when I start to feel the depletion. And this year, I feel like I have a great load of clients. I have amazing clients, clients who are super duper aligned. And I fucking love serving. Like their missions truly excite me. And that is part of my overall mission. So although I have less clients, I am far happier. And this has in turn created more space for me. But instead of rushing to fill that space, I've been sitting in it. I've been doing more things for me, sitting in longer meditations in the mornings, letting myself relax in the middle of the day, giving myself space to tap into my higher self, to tap into my creativity, to tap into all the things that we fucking cut off when we try to cram so much into our days. I mean, think about it. If you say work maybe like a nine to six, nine to seven day, and you're filling every single hour with shit, you know, like to do's scrolling on social media, because that's one of the things that we do to fill space. Um, you know, what happens is you're cutting off space from receiving those downloads, from connecting to your create creativity, you know, and then you wonder, well, I don't have anything to write about. I don't, I don't have anything to talk about. I don't feel like I'm connected. I mean, these are the things that people tell me all the time. And it's like, well, have you created the space to, to feel connected? Have you created the space to tap into your creativity? Have you created the space for your creativity to just flow? And the answer is no. And let me just get, share another like, real example that I'm sure all of you will be able to relate to. How many times have you been like standing in line for something, whether it's the groceries or, you know, checking your movie tickets or, you know, at a store, whatever it is. How many times have you stood in line and are waiting in line, then you pull out your phone? Because the idea of standing in line in silence, just patiently waiting is driving you insane. So in this time, you're just going to scroll, check your IG, check your Facebook. Has anyone emailed? We all fucking do this. And this is killing the space that we've been gifted with, the space for us to receive grace. Because space offers grace. So a little story about me. I am quite intuitive. I don't talk about it a lot. I think. Um, there's a lot of misconceptions out there with psychics and mediums and intuitives. And I'm not here to get into any of that. I just want you to know that I'm super tapped in and I know things before they happen. But 
one of the things that I experienced through these years of building my business and being super duper busy and keeping myself super duper busy is that I wasn't connected anymore. I couldn't even hear my intuition. And we all have intuition, guys. We all have intuition, whether it's a gut feeling or a sense or a notion or a voice, whatever it is, however it calls to us, we all have it. You know, we can all think about experiences when we've used it and felt it and experienced it. So we all have intuition, but I was feeling like I was so disconnected from it. I I couldn't differentiate between choices that really felt aligned and choices that I was just making for the sake of making a choice. I found it harder and harder to connect with what felt right for me. And it was because I was filling my space with so much shit, you know, and stupid shit too. Like, oh, I've got to create a graphic for this thing. And oh, wait, I got this idea for this blog post. And oh, wait, let me see what so-and-so is doing on social media. And oh, let me research this. And uh, like, we drive ourselves insane and we don't give ourselves enough space to just fucking be. And the ultimate reason why we don't give ourselves space is because we're too fucking scared. We're too scared to give ourselves space because of this belief that we have cultivated as a society that busyness equates to success, that hard work equates to success. So when we're doing something other than hard work, when we're not busy, for example, we feel as though we are not doing enough and we beat ourselves up over it. That is why we don't give ourselves enough space. And I'm certain that this is why you're not giving yourself enough space. I'm also certain that you could use that space. In fact, right now, just think about like, what would you do? What is something that you've been dying to either incorporate into your daily routine, create time for something that you've really wanted to do or have been wanting to do, but continue to use the excuse of, I don't have time. You have the time. You're just choosing to allocate it elsewhere. That's the truth. We all have time. And the funny thing about time is that in our human existence, time is linear. You know, everything in in our human lives has been designed to be very linear, right? Our our clock is a, a linear timeline. But when when we're doing things like we've experienced periods of time in our life when we're doing something that's really exciting where time seems to expand. We also experience like when time seems to contract and that's why I believe time is so much more than just linear. And the more we start to understand that we have the power to direct time, the more we start to master our time versus our, our time having control over us, right? Because every time you say, I don't have the time, that's you giving your power away to time. You have the time. You're just allocating it elsewhere. And you're refusing to take ownership of the way that you're managing your time. So whatever it is that you have been wanting to do or incorporate into your business, into your, your endeavors, into your mission that you felt like you didn't have the time to do, or maybe this is more personal. Maybe it's like wanting to spend time with family, with your loved ones, or wanting to spend more time with yourself or incorporating daily meditation into your life, whatever it is. You have the time. It's this habit of keeping busy that is taking away from it. So I invite you to just start chipping away at your day. Start with the unnecessary scrolling. You know, if you're standing in line to buy something and it's a long line, choose not to pick up your phone. Choose not to look at your phone in that moment and just start scrolling. Choose to just be. And let that space offer you grace. Grace for more downloads. 
grace to tap into your creativity, grace to, to, for ideas to enter, right? New blog ideas, new program ideas, new post ideas, whatever ideas that have been itching to come out that you haven't been able to connect to because of this habit of being busy. Give yourself the space. So you can tap into these things. So you can start flowing more. So you can start feeling the grace that comes from space. And the ease. Because busyness is a hectic feeling that doesn't, it does not serve anyone. And it fucks with your mission. (laughs) To be honest, it fucks with your mission. Because when you're just keeping busy for the sake of being busy or out of the fear of, of uh, well, I'm not going to be successful if I'm not busy, then you're fucking up the trajectory of your mission because you're forcing things. And we don't want to force things. You want to let things flow. You want to let things grow. You know, it's like trying to force a plant to grow I mean, they kind of do that actually in real life. They do. They feed, <laughs> they put GMOs in our vegetables, force them to grow bigger than they are. But, you know, it's all fucked up. Like if you want to, if you are truly here to lead with your truth, um, with your voice to stand out, to really make an impact, you need to give yourself the space to tap into what it is that is truly your voice, your creativity, your ideas, because everyone has unique ideas and unique gifts. It's just when we start to get wrapped up in the idea of being too busy or having to work hard, that's when shit gets twisted. So start chipping away at your day and see what are some of the things you can let go of. And I gave you one perfect example, the unnecessary scrolling. And a tip for that is to only go on social media with an intention. So you can have the intention to scroll, but give yourself a time limit. Tell yourself, well, I'm only going to scroll for the next 10 minutes. Or if you go on Facebook to engage with your group, then tell yourself before you go on Facebook, I'm going to go on Facebook to engage with my group and that's it. Go in, get out. And if there's moments in your day where you feel like you're just filling it with I mean, half the time we fill it with stuff, we don't even realize what we're doing. (laughs) You know what I mean? And I know you've probably experienced this before. We're just like, what the fuck have I been doing for the last 30 minutes? That is also an opportunity to give yourself some space. Go for a walk, sit in silence, go outside in nature. Like do, do something that allows you to just be rather than letting time have this control over you. Because space offers grace and can provide you with a stronger connection to your creativity, to your voice, to your gifts, to your magic, to what it is that you're here to do. So give yourself some space. I just want to say thank you so much for joining me on today's episode of Love Punch, where I'm challenging thought leaders, influencers, and entrepreneurs like you to make a lasting impact impact. If you love this episode, please share it with a friend and don't forget to hit subscribe. I mean that please subscribe, rate and review. I am asking you, please rate and review this podcast. I would love it so much and appreciate you so much for doing that. I have a brand new free training on my website. Just go to rubyframon.com slash CPR and snag that today. It is super juicy. It is full of amazing content that will help you build momentum and bring your mission to the masses. And if you just want to ask some questions or say hi, please reach out to me on social media. My handle is at I am Ruby. Thank you again. And I will see you here next week with a brand new episode of Love Punch.